Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to Extreme Gaming Fever and in today's video I'm going to harvest cotton. Not only harvest but yeah definitely. I'm going to plant, fertilize and then harvest cotton. So I'm so hyped and so excited so let's go and in order to do that I need to buy some coins because currently I won't have, I don't have enough money to buy that equipment so yeah let's spend some money there. Okay, so I guess 1 million should work, so let's go with 1 million. And I am i don't have a credit card, so I'm using my uh, mobile phone SIM card. Uh, it will act as a direct carrier billing. So yeah, that's, that's the simple thing. And uh, let's see if it goes. Okay, so finally the payment is successful. Right, so I guess we have enough money to purchase uh, all the tools that we need to uh, plant, fertilize and harvest cotton, so let's go. So I would also like to sell some of the vehicles which I don't need, especially in this tutorial. And uh, first of all, let's sell this uh, harvester and then its header and uh, I would also like to sell this fan 515 favorite tractor and uh, yeah this seeder as well and what else I can sell well um, maybe the cultivator okay so by the way uh, let's forget and uh, let's go and purchase all the tools and equipments that we need so uh, first thing first we need a um, harvester <laughs> of course so I'm going to purchase the case uh, IH module express harvester which is the only cotton harvester we have then definitely we need a planter so I'm going with this the uh, Lackman uh, plant planter uh, which is quite cheap actually uh, and, and it also has some a uh, decent working range so uh, six meters I guess is more than enough uh, especially considering the field size that I have right now so oh, I better should have sell this uh, cultivator by the way uh, let's go and I guess this tractor is capable enough to pull that planter so I'm just going to grab that um, grab that uh, planter with this tractor hopefully this tractor will pull our um, planter now I I know I uh, just want to uh, mention a thing here uh, I didn't record it this video live because uh, trust me guys planting cotton is <laughs> very very hard and very very time consuming thing you know uh, this is only 22 minutes gameplay but the whole recording was more than two hours long and uh, it took me around about f more than four hours to record one this one single gameplay at first i thought okay it's, it would be okay and it would be uh, so easy to plant and harvest wheat but i was wrong uh, especially the yield that you get uh, after harvesting cotton is way 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 less and uh, uh, the harvester make a bale <laughs> probably I don't know it takes forever to just give you one bale of cotton and uh, you can't sell cotton unless you have a bale so in order if you want to sell your crop if you want to sell cotton then you must uh, compress it in the form of bales and the harvester only uh, make the bale of the cotton when it's full so there is no way you can stop in the middle of the field and uh, you know whatever amount of uh, cotton you have just go away with that so we need to fill this zero and this is probably the fertilizer tank and uh, let me see oh never mind <laughs> this is the uh, liquid fertilizer tank okay uh, probably this is going to be the uh, seeds, seed, 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 seeds tank, and um, hopefully we will be able to fill our planter from here. Let's see what happens. Great! So you can see that <clears throat> this planter is totally full now. 
So what I'm going to do here, I have this field already cultivated. Whenever you start a new carrier, you will find this field and it will be cultivated. So let me see if I own this field or not. So yeah, it looks like I have this field. So I can finally start planting cotton on this field. And uh, let's start from this end actually. I'm not planning to hire helper right now uh, but I, I but I will whenever I need so currently I just want to experience how it feels like to plant something in farming simulator 20 wow so great and you can see that the texture is you know totally changing and uh, as I mentioned in my earlier videos uh, that um, the texture are coming from <laughs> farming simulator 19 PC and the fields are very identical I don't think there is any difference you can see the interior the detailed interior view and that's awesome I'm, I'm really loving this game the wait was worth it okay so okay so I just finished planting the uh, the cotton on that field and now it's finally time to purchase the um, for uh, this sprayer and uh, it, you can see it's it's quite late it's the night time uh, but I'm still going to grab the uh, sprayer because uh, I really want to finish this way. Uh, I don't want to be so late that uh, the crop already, uh, you know, ready to harvest and then there will be no use of fertilizing it. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, although we do need to see how the fertilization process will work. Uh, in Warming Simulator 18, if a crop is fully ripe and ready to harvest, you can still fertilize it. Let's see if this happened in Farming Simulator 20 or not. So it's a really interesting, th interesting thing to see. Oh, by the way, if you are worried about uh, my controllers are not moving, then uh, let me <laughs> remind you once again, I'm using a keyboard and I have connected a keyboard to my phone and I'm playing on a PC keyboard. And uh, this game does support the con uh, does have a controller support and a keyboard support doesn't even matter. So if you want to get most of this game, you can use a game controller or a keyboard. Simply, it will really you know enhance your experience of playing this game. And trust me, if you will play, so this is where you can fill the uh, liquid fertilizer in your sprayer. Uh, there is no. Uh, weeds so there is no pesticides or no herbicides so there is only one thing in this game and that is the liquid fertilizer so if anyone uh, is there expecting weed and uh, herbicides so there is a point of disappointment for him uh, that there is no weeds and no herbicides so I'm really trying to make this tutorial short okay so we skipped the night so that I can clearly see the texture if the texture is changing or not so hopefully you will be able to see with me so I'm not showing you the complete process or the complete gameplay because I really want to make this tutorial short I don't want to be this tutorial maybe more than two hours long video because nobody would like to watch that long video the physics is, uh, as I mentioned, realistic, so the vehicle's movement is very slow and it takes so much time to work on a single field. I wonder what will happen if we work on larger fields. These are nothing compared to those giant's fields. These fields are so tiny as compared to those fields. So you can see that the texture is actually changing. I don't know how many times you can fertilize a field. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. But hopefully we, as we will play this game, uh, we will find it out uh, later, uh, very soon at least. So let me skip some video here. 
okay so now I have completely fertilized this field and uh, you can see that the whole field is now fertilized so I'm just going to park the I'm just going to park the <coughs> this sapphire on the main farm so this is basically going to be our main farm <laughs> to be honest uh, I guess yeah this is the main farm so there is no farmhouse that's a sure thing uh, there's actually one very small uh, but it almost looks like there is no farmhouse but yeah there's actually one I'm sorry I was like blind <laughs> that's so embarrassing I didn't notice that there is a farmhouse <laughs> <laughs> by the way whatever we all make mistakes that's not a big deal okay so now what we need to do is to wait for the uh, cotton to be ready to harvest and then we will start harvesting cotton now I haven't uh, harvested this field so I guess it's withered and there we go so it's growing so let's skip some video Okay, so you can see that uh, the cotton is now ready to harvest and we can start harvesting this field. So here we have the Case IH module express harvester for harvesting cotton. This is the first time I'm sitting in this harvester in Farming Simulator 20. Probably I will never forget this moment. And that's why I wasn't showing you this harvester until now. So yeah. The physics is amazing as usual, but let me show you the detailed interior view of this harvester. You are definitely going to enjoy. Just check it out guys. This is amazing. Wow, so there is a small seat as well and you can see that's incredible. So now let's go and start harvesting. Start harvesting our cotton field wow so the physics is definitely improved a lot I mean it really feels like very slow sluggish like a harvester and what else you can expect it feels like very heavy dumb and take uh, it all has some latency uh, whenever you try to turn it or move it forward or backward or use apply a break the physics is really outstanding okay so let's start harvesting the cotton from this end and uh, let's go ahead and start harvesting the cotton and uh, probably <laughs> as I mentioned uh, I had to plant cotton on this field two times uh, it the harvester just gets half full in the first uh, run and uh, when I try to harvest this field uh, with cotton second time then the harvester gets full and I got one bale and you will see how much uh, money I get from that bale uh, later in this video so basically what we are doing so you can see that all the movements in the harvester and all the animations are similar as we have in farming simulator 19 pc i'm sorry if you are going to blame that why i'm comparing this game with farming simulator 19 again and again because uh, everything we have in this game is coming from farming simulator 19 so it's very important that we compare so it's a natural thing that we will compare and we will keep comparing this game with farming simulator 19 so that's not a big deal so you can see that uh, this harvester will move up and down and will compress the cotton uh, that it will collect and when it will be full it will uh, you know what, are you, what word you will use for by the way it will give us a bail and uh, then we'll be able to sell that bale. There was a really funny uh, word to choose. Give this. Okay, so uh, I just want to show you the <laughs> maximum 
uh, amount of time I, I'm just going to share the maximum video in which I'm harvesting this because everyone wanted to see this harvester in action in farming simulator 20 so there you go from interior from cab view and uh, from third person view uh, you can see this harvester how this harvester is working and uh, how much speed you will get when this harvester is working and uh, all the animations so you can see that it's really really incredible and working just as this harvester works in PC so as I already mentioned probably hundreds of times that farming simulator 20 is actually farming simulator 19 on your mobile phone so that's really incredible and yeah there's some lag uh, this is because probably there is a lot of cotton moving in this harvester I don't know but the game is lagging a little bit okay so you can see that it's almost full and I'm trying my best I have I'm going to, I'm harvesting this field two times and there the moon there you go the moment you all been waiting for the harvester is now ejecting a cotton bale wow that is so sick just look at that that's so amazing okay so finally after playing more than two more than three hours actually I finally got one cotton bale so you can easily understand how time consuming this thing is and uh, now we need a trailer to transfer this bale to our selling point so we are going with the first one which has only uh, the capacity of one cotton bale so here you go I'm going to use this uh, John Deere 6R tractor I don't want to show you uh, this tractor I don't want to show you this tractor right now because I will soon be uploading a review video of this tractor so make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos okay why it's not connecting okay there you go now let's go and quickly load that bill onto this trailer and try to sell and we will see then how much money we will get after selling one cotton bale which I got after harvesting one field two times yes two times I planted cotton on on this field fertilized wait for it to completely fully grow and then harvest it the harvester only gets half full then I planted cotton once again on this field and uh, then waited for it to grow once again and then once again harvested you can see it took all two fields to just generate one just make one cotton bale and there is no way you can get cotton f out of from this harvester in any other way so whatever amount of har uh, uh, the cotton it will harvest it will trap inside this harvester and you cannot get that cotton back so I'm trying to unload uh, this bale so this is the procedure this is how you will load the cotton bale uh, you will basically press the work button on when you attach this trailer and uh, reverse this trailer and touch this trailer to the bale and it will automatically pick and load the cotton bale on your trailer so let's see where we will get the maximum price for this for the cotton okay so um so probably we are getting the maximum price from here lakeside hill wool and yarn yeah let's go there and sell this it's quite far from here uh, not too far but yeah still we need to cover some distance here let's go move on you John Deere 6R by the way who is hyped to drive the John Deere 8R in this game let me know in the comment section meanwhile we transfer this bill to the selling point I just hope I follow the right path I just don't want to go on our wrong way 
I'm actually driving this and playing this game on my phone without keyboard I just disconnected the keyboard for some reason and it's very hard to control because uh, I'm never used to these controls if you play farming simulator 18 on mobile without keyboard or without mouse with this control then you will probably be fine with these controls but as I never played farming simulator 18 with these controls so I'm not used to these controls so yeah there you go I'm really careful here I don't want to create any mess here uh, because this is you know the final step and I already spent <laughs> a lot of time just to get this one bill and I don't want to lose it anyway no what no it didn't what okay so I need to load this once again what was that why did it unloaded the bill on that place by the way let's unload this once again and uh, let's see moment of truth oh so we got fifty one thousand dollars for one bill and it might look a lot of money but considering that I wasted more than four hours just to get this one bill it's a lot less actually it's not a lot of, it's not a very good price especially considering how much time it takes to produce just one bill so if you are considering wow that's a lot of money then you are wrong <laughs> maybe uh, it's a better choice if you are a pro farmer and you have very large fields and you have more than two to three uh, cotton harvester but when, if you are starting a new game then this is not the right way to earn money so <clears throat> i just hope you will enjoy this video and if you do so then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe for watching more videos of farming simulator 20 i will see you in my next video very soon bye